I am a butt fuck. Yeah, I, I said I didn't switch yet, and then here you are trying to make dumb jokes. It wasn't a joke. It was a serious thing. Your, the, your audio is quiet to me. I need to fix no, it. No, I'm just talking quiet because I lost my voice yesterday and my nose is plugged. What do you have? Some kind of wrestling agenda or something? An agenda? An Actually, agenda how, means I'm trying, how was uh, that? You went to a thing. I went to two things. What, 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 what things did you do? Uh, Saturday, I went to AEW slash Ring of Honor. Um, it's yeah, a post sick. on the internet how we got the ticket, so I don't care saying it. Uh, Billy Starks gave Skull and Bones some tickets to go hang out. Um, so that happened. That was cool. AEW was a lot of fun. Uh, I was actually shocked because, you know, they talk about how everyone does all the high spots and blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. Honestly, the show was very southern indie style like especially with a lot the, of the danielson crap. christian stuff i saw was like super super technical but like it, like literally they had like there was no like crazy stuff that people always talk shit about AEW the entire show the only match that did was on ring of honor after AEW, mm -hmm. um which was uh metallic versus commander because i guess brian cage is hurt because they were supposed to have cage versus commander on collision but damn it <laughs> Oh, well. But yeah, but that match was sick, and Commander hit, like, this rope walk shooting star press for the finish, and I was like, that's so scary, but so awesome. <laughs> His gravity doesn't work with him. But, uh, yeah, Christian and Danielson, a lot of fun. Um, this is it. It's bothering me now that you pointed Super, out. sorry. Super, super yeah. simple uh, match, but super good. Um, told a great story. I loved it. Um, but yeah, I had a lot of fun, but I didn't get home till like almost 2 a.m. So, so you're a busy boy. And then I had to get up and leave by 8.30 in the morning Sunday because I had a show in just south of Newark, Ohio, Hebron, Ohio. You you know a Hebron. I do. Hebron, There's too many towns in Connecticut, man. Well, the real problem is a lot of like, so Ohio's like original settlements Mm -hmm. came from people leaving Connecticut. So a lot of the towns, Smart. the oldest towns in Ohio, were just re, like just named after Connecticut towns. And those were oh. stolen from England. Yeah, exactly. Sick. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so out there, there was a show, um, Buckeye Wrestling Alliance. Mm -hmm. It's a show I work for. Um and it was a lot of fun. There was a lot of stuff and things that happened. And then there was a Royal Rumble to end the show. Ooh, that's copyright. I guess it's not a Royal Rumble. It was a... Grand Rumble. Route 40 Rumble. That's what the they're... fuck is a Route 40 Rumble? Uh, it, it's a Royal Rumble named something else to avoid copyright. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. It gets me there. Um... But it was fun. It was a good show. Solid show overall. Uh, I enjoyed it. Had fun. Didn't get home until late. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, wrestling can be fun even when you're broken. I got to do, I didn't, I wasn't out there much, but I got to do a little managerial spot. So. Well, there you go. See, look at you crutching around. You, you're, you're. Actually, I'm not crutching anymore. I'm on a cane now. Somehow that's funnier. Yeah. Is that way you're just like, oh, why you damn, you damn kids. Blah. Now, now I'm pimping ain't easy. It's true. Well, good for you. So you've been a busy boy then. Yeah, so I'm sleepy, lost my voice, and my nose, I woke up this morning with my nose on the right nostril completely plugged, and mm. it's really fucking annoying. I hate that shit. Because, like, it was super, it's still super plugged, but now it's starting to run. Mm -hmm. And, of course, like, I'm in the middle of something, I can't just easily, you know, get up and go do anything about it because I'm broken. Yeah, sometimes when I get my nose uh, plugged up, I think about all the good times I had when I can breathe, and I just reflect on those good times. Real sad. That's me right now going, like, with the bathroom. I'm like, man, uh, before I hurt my leg, imagine all the easy times I could just go to the bathroom. Do you remember pooping easily? Man, what a time that was, you know? Dude, that, pooping that was, was so awesome weird. back then. Over a month ago, dude. <laughs> dude I used to, a, I used struggle to, now. I used to love pooping without a struggle. Uh, the glory days, some would call it. But now I can't, like, I, and, like, the way I have to sit on the toilet, my leg immediately starts falling asleep, so I can't even play on my phone. Like um, imagine pooping and not being able to play on your phone. Why don't you poop in the bathtub and that way you can waffle stomp it down? Because I can't get into the bathtub. Ah, <laughs> you can't get a bathtub, idiot. You stink. Uh, Nerd. A little bit. Yeah, well, that'd be like it's that. It's rough for me to shower. So yeah. I, I can, but, you know, 
it takes like a half an hour just to get ready to shower. <laughs> Sounds so fucking terrible. I'm good on all that. Uh, you just get a neck scar. I get a five yeah. knee scars and getting away. stupid life. Yeah, it's, it's going away. Uh, by the way, preview for today's episode. There ain't shit for news unless you care about uh, Mario's voice actor. And uh, my, apparently a lot of people do for no reason. I can't believe they got Woo-hoo! somebody else to say that. Yeah, I can do it, dude. Wow, dude. They could have literally Thank recycled. You, they could have recycled Charles Martinet's voice lines, which I thought they'd been doing since 96. Oh, and I would have been wrong. fine. Well, I don't know. what I can't remember Mario's most deep dialogues uh, other than. Yeah, that. Here we that. go. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I honestly kind of wish Chris Pratt took over just to fuck everyone oh, over. Oh, dude, people would be so fit. I would be hilarious. So funny. I really kind of wish they did that, but um, other than that, oh, we uh, played some games, and I'll let Aaron uh talk about them. Me, me start, bro. Yeah, why not, brother? Brother, sister, brother. Um, well, I didn't write down, but I'll just mention. Obviously, I've still played Marvel Snap because it's just very convenient and easy to play. Yeah, especially when you got no leg. Yeah, and that, that's the big thing is, like, I'm now able to slowly sit at my desk. It's still sometimes a struggle to get over here, but, but uh, yeah, so, like, Marvel Snap's just easy. Um, I've been playing Legacy, Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution, which was, like, the last Yu-Gi-Oh! game they released that wasn't, like, a play-against-other-people-only type game. What is this on? Uh, this is on everything. I've been playing it on PC and Steam Deck. Um, mm. I think I also own it on Switch. I got it a few years ago on Switch. But I was going to say, the... this looks like a free trading card game online. No, nah, it's just how they, they show Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, is stuff. Um, cool. Basically, this one, the, there's a campaign mode where they have uh, you can play as use a story deck. And you basically go through every major duel from every Yu-Gi-Oh! series out up until this game's release in 2019. Mm-hmm. So that includes, like, original Yu-Gi-Oh!, 5Ds, uh, D's nuts. Oh. 5Ds nuts, dude, sick, that was great. X, Good jokes. Rains, and all the, all, all the, all of them, I don't, I don't remember all their names, but, uh... Mm. Which is fun, but then you can also use your own deck if you want. So like if the because some of them like the story decks, the only reason they work in the anime is because the anime has either no rules or like you know protagonist drawing the perfect card at the right time. So when you use that deck and you play actual Yu Gi Oh with it, you just get fucking stomped. Yep. So that's me. So when you get real like, there's a couple where if you get real mad, you're just like, all right, that's it. I'm just using a deck from like 2019 against these like 2007 decks, and I'm just gonna destroy them. I, mean, I can't believe people are still out here trying to get Exodia. Uh, actually, uh, so Chris has also been playing this. Mm-hmm. Um, and we've built, because uh, you can use, like, cards that are banned, or, like, if they're at one, you can still use them at three for against the computer. Because there is also an online mode on this. Right. Um, but, I mean, I don't know if anyone still plays it. We don't. But uh, we, we've created, like, a really illegal Exodia deck just to grind through the story <laughs> and it, cards. Well, I mean, whatever. I mean, Exodia, they put it in the game. Not my problem. Yeah. So Sounds it's like just a, funny. Yeah. Well, oh, Celtic Guardian. I used to like him. The old school, man. Old school Yu-Gi-Mons. I love him. Um, but I'm, I'm using this to help Chris slowly learn newer Yu-Gi-Oh! Because uh, I don't know if you remember, but a while back, Chris and I did, like, this thing where, like, we'd open... It, we, we stole it from a YouTuber uh, named Simo, but um, basically you open... Uh, why does he keep saying no? If he just keeps drawing, he would have won by now. This guy sucks. <laughs> um, uh, if um, So, like, you open a box of the first set, LOB, Legend of Blue Eyes, and then we make a deck. Like, mm-hmm. if there's, like, online pack simulators you can do. Right. And then there's a uh, dueling book, which has every card in the game, and you can just choose it and play each other. So then we make a deck of LOB, uh, play each other, Whoever wins gets a little bonus. Whoever loses doesn't. And then we open the next set, Metal Raiders. And then we make a deck out of the LOB and Metal Raiders. And we just keep adding a new box each time we do it. Um, So I'm trying to... I want Chris to learn some of the newer Yu-Gi-Oh! So that way as we get to a little bit of newer stuff... Because we, we've talked about possibly doing it again. Even if we don't do it for content, just to do it because it's fun. Mm-hmm. Um uh when we get to newer Yu-Gi-Oh, i'm not just like stomping him since i know it and he doesn't <laughs> right. wow but but yeah so it's it's a lot of fun um it's i've been having fun playing it i like Yu-Gi-Oh. i've always liked Yu-Gi-Oh. i'm a fucking nerd dude 
You're a fucking nerd, no way, dude. Yeah, Crazy. Dude. Uh, I have a podcast with like video games and wrestling. I'm a fucking nerd. I never heard you once talk about video games. Yeah, fair enough, dude. I don't even play video games. If I'm I mean, fair. You played Marvel Snap 50 times, and that's about it. Well, yeah, Marvel Snap's great, dude. The fuck? Yeah, it's all right. It's no Fortnite. And then I've been playing Civ 6 a little bit, dabbling here and there because uh, I suck at it and I just want to get better. So I've been. Um... Oh, there's game. There's I... gameplay sounds. <laughs> get gameplayed, pussy. Correct, dude. Um. So yeah, so I've been playing Civ 6 because I'm really bad at it, and uh, this is actually one of the guys I've been watching, Potato McWhiskey, because he's pretty solid. That's a cool name. It is. Uh, and I've also learned, for some reason, a lot of Civ and strategy game uh, like content creators have some form of potato in their name. Yeah, it's probably Potatoes some kind of game. Something. It's probably some kind of meme. But yeah, so like I've been watching some like this guy and one other guy's videos on like how to be better at this game and i've just been dabbling and being like trying to do things because this game is a lot man like if you're new to civilization like civilization is just a very involved in depth game and there's games that are even more involved in depth than this so i can't even imagine like uh i forget what it's, it's like europa Unival universalis or some shit like that it's something like that i don't know europa blah, 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 blah. yeah basically cool but I, I haven't played a lot, but just a little bit of dabbling. I love Civilization. It's a lot of fun. Um, I was really good at Civ 3 for some reason when I was younger, and then I stopped playing them. And then I played Civ 4, and I loved it, but I wasn't super good at it. And then I didn't really play Civ 5, and now Civ 6 has added so much, and it's completely different. Like, in the older Civilizations, it wasn't about having a million cities. It was about having a really strong capital, and then, like, some decent cities around to build units and protect mm -hmm. this game the way they did it and like there's these things like uh like districts and stuff that it's actually and you get adjacency bonuses it's better to have most civilizations to have like a thousand fucking cities instead of one massive strong city so like they kind of change the i know that doesn't sound like all big change but that's like a massive change for like how you strategize the gameplay mm -hmm. and i'm just not used to that and i'm really bad at it fair so. So you're bad at games, is what I'm hearing. Aaron sucks. Call me the Kev of video games, because I suck. Wow, that was rude. Don't like you no more. No, did you ever? Uh, 50-50. <laughs> so. but, but yeah, so, you know, video games, they'd be fun. But yeah, that's it. Um, there's uh, I want to start getting a little bit back into Starfield. Um, there's, uh, there's something else I wanted to start playing, and I can't remember it right now, because my brain is... Fizzled. You should play Myth Force. Did you buy it for me yet? Yeah, you have the code. Oh, wait, that's right, I do. Hold yeah, on. can you fucking... Let me install that on my computer right now before I forget again. Yeah, I really want you to play it, so please do. I just clicked install. It's installing now. Thank you, fucker. <laughs> I, forgot. I literally forgot you actually did. Piece of shit. I want to play you and Chase. I would talk about that now, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get my Blue Dragon uh, tirade out of the way. Rant time. Rant. Not really a rant, rant, but like this this game did that thing where like I'm having a whole lot of fun until you decided to really be a Holy fucking shit, dick. That is dark. Yeah, this is probably recorded with a like, composite video, so I'm going to get rid of this guy's video. Um, here's the thing. Blue Dragon's a great little RPG. Um, pretty fun. Uh, I will say, if anything, the game is like mostly easy. Um, oh God, it's Goku. It's Goku versus with Great Saiyan Man and a Bulma. Uh, like, I'm having a fun Dr. time. Hero. No, that was that was Purple Piccolo. No, that was Doctor Giro mixed with uh, the Purple, Purple Piccolo. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, beers. There's even a robot here. Like, I'm right, dude. It's yeah. the doctor, dude, the robot guy. So I, I'm pretty much at the end of the game. Um, but I got to a point in this game where. It's like a it's like a mini butt boss like like Nanza is the best way to put it, right? And Rush. It, it almost and like there's like save points because you gotta have predetermined save points in this RPG, but there's also like checkpoints. Okay, now a checkpoint is if you die, you can like ah you spawn right here, try the boss fight again, right? Yeah. Do, does not save the game. So I'm at the like this area in the end of the game where I have to do, like, three mini-boss fights, but if I leave the dungeon, I have to do everything again. <laughs> and then there's a long, boring puzzle. 
that you would think Kev just look it up to get the answer. Literally nobody has an answer online. Other than like if you want to watch a three hour long play video and scoot through it, trying to find what you gotta do. And like a guy that I looked at to like give you the answer, dead links. So I was like, I don't wanna fucking do any of that again. And then like there's just so many boss rushes. So my options were just keep fighting this boss that you're clearly not ready for with RNG. Or fucking do everything again. I was like, this is a really dumb way to do this, like, part of the game. And it took you know forever. You know what's funny? Did what? I ever tell you my first time playing Final Fantasy X? Because this reminds me of that a lot. Is it the it, bridge it, things? I hate those. No, so it wasn't that. So, um, it, it's more so I, I got locked out of... So, in the international version, you can grind for the orbs to, for the sphere grid because you have the abilities, like, uh, get the power ones. So you can do that and you can guarantee it. In the original PlayStation 2 one in the West, you did they didn't have that. Mm -hmm. You just got whatever you got from certain enemies. Okay. Um, so, have you played Final Fantasy X? Yeah. You know? I played the PS4 version. Though. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Um, so, you had those abilities. So, mm -hmm. there was no way to lock yourself out. Okay. Um, so, I was uh, so I was playing Final Fantasy X, my first time playing it. So, it's amazing how it's still my favorite game of all time, because I actually put it down the first time. Cool. Um, so, I got to, in, when you go inside of Sin... Mm -hmm. And you grind through, and then you fight uh, Broska's final Aeon, the big guy with the two yep. things. I wasn't strong enough to beat him. I lost yeah. him like 20 times. So I was like, okay, let me go grind for the proper spheres to up my stats and do stuff. Well, mm -hmm. I didn't, I don't, I'm not someone who does like a bunch of saves. I have like two saves most usually. Right. So both of my saves were inside Sin. Okay. Nowhere inside Sin can you get ability or power spheres in the awesome. original PS2. Game. Love that. So I was stuck inside Sin, could only upgrade my speed and magic, but mm -hmm. I couldn't add any abilities. I couldn't get strength or defense. So you and fucked. So I couldn't grind to get better, but I wasn't strong enough to beat him. And I, tr I there was, a, I think, three straight days. This was middle school, I think. Three straight days where I put, it was like summer vacation or some type of vacation. I put eight hour days basically into trying to beat this. I wish you were supposed to be nice to have that free time as a child. Oh, God, dude. Yeah. I remember those days. Um, so, like, I put that much time into it and got so pissed that I put the game down and, like, didn't play it again for a long time. Um, but, yeah, so, like, it, it just kind of reminds me of that where it's like I either had to have a save outside of it or. I would have had to start the entire game over just because I couldn't beat that one boss. Yeah, it just right at the end of the game because they, for some reason, in the, only the Western version didn't allow that to. Uh... Yeah, I, I get what you mean. It's just it's a bad. It was a bad design, and, and then somebody's like, "Oh, it sounds like old school game design." I'm like that doesn't mean it's good. Good, yeah, like like oh, it's man. annoying. Like now I have to spend four hours doing this shit again. Like I don't want to. Like. Like, if I dare play anything else on my Xbox, it's like, gotta do that all again. And I'm just like, alright, well. And the thing is, like, again, I was having fun with this game, but it is it is just very easy. Where, basically, get the spell that attacks everybody, and that's all you're using ever again. So, it goes really easy to just all of a sudden kicks your ass. Right. And actually, Which there was... kind a, of annoying. It is. And, like, again, just pick, pick a lane. Either be really difficult or be really easy. Like, I'm fine with that. Uh, so I don't know. Maybe I'll go back finish it, but I uh, I was kind of good. Like this old school turn based RPG, yeah. basically. Yeah, okay. it does absolutely nothing revolutionary, like at all. So uh, it was fun. But then I had um, I like I was like kind of good putting it down, and I know you're gonna be like, wow, okay, look at you watching your own streams again. But how else am I gonna fucking describe that I've been playing a Pokemon? Fucky. Myth Force first? No, no, because I'm already doing the transition here. Uh, the Pokemon randomized Emerald Nuzlocke, baby. It's been a great time. I forgot. I playing Pokemon, couldn't be me. Dude, I forgot a lot about Gen 3, even though it's my favorite gen, which makes a lot of sense because it's me. Uh, I good. I hit the pause screen on the podcast. Very you good. You dummy. Yeah, I am. Also, my mouse broke, so I have to fucking use this because... Apparently, uh, you want to buy a wired mouse at Best Buy, you're looking at, like, $40 plus because they're all, like, super gamer mice. Just go to, like, Walmart. You can get, like, a basic wired mouse for, like, 10 bucks. Yeah, well, whatever. So, anyway, 
Uh, we're gonna literally what I get. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're you shut up. Actually, I have a razor mouse now because uh, Nietzsche got like a little razor pack for razor mouse keyboard and stuff and headphones for like mm. twenty bucks because it was on sale, thirty bucks, something like that. Fair. Uh, I ran into a couple of Y nuts. Hello, Ken. How you doing? I ran into a couple of Y nuts this uh area, and I thought Did for whoop your butt. No, I thought I was panicked forever because I was like, well, John's gonna die. Is um, John yet? Oh no, John's dead. Yeah. Did you really? Yeah, no, John's dead. He got critted by something. Actually, so I had my favorite Pokemon, not ever, but in this run, Stonussy, my Rhyhorn, because uh, it was female, obviously, so the Stonussy is strong. Uh, it got crit fucking crunched by a Sharpedo, and I am the saddest boy in the world still. We uh, we actually got copyrighted on the stream because I played Sarah McLaughlin's uh, In the Arms of an Angel. During that part, yeah, I was fucking bummed out, That's dude. Funny. And if y'all motherfuckers stop trying to kill my Pokemon via channel points, at least we have a revive, too. I put the revive option out there. So, uh, is a Nuzlocke incoming today? I don't know, because uh, after I'm done doing this, I gotta upload it, I gotta dust the house, um, and then I'll see much, how much time I have before I go to a union meeting. Feel it out. Um, but yeah, so... We got a little more to do. I think the last thing I left off on, which is actually a good reminder for me, is... What is the last thing I did in this? That is me going to raid somebody. I need to... Oh, this area. With the really, really, really tall grass. Oh, yeah. And for some reason, I didn't like this area. Oh, you know why I didn't like this area? Because you can't ride your bike through that grass. Yeah, well, I got the running Stupid. shoes that I can use anywhere. Because uh, randomizers. So. Um, my uh, starter was a Dodrio, by the way. Love Dodrio. Uh, and also, game, dude. yeah, somebody said it. Uh, and then actually, I also realized daycare is super broken when you have turbo mode on because you run real fast. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. That's a great way to level up my fart butts, which is how we got a Charmeleon real easy. Just um, art rare candies into your game, dude. No, I'm not doing that. Um, I mean, but, it's literally like the easiest way because it's better than just so. So here's my thing, and this is, and I'm I'm gonna expose myself here. If I'm doing a Nuzlocke or a Soul Link or something. I am going to hack rare candies in my game and I'm not going to use them to like cheat. But like if we have Pokemon die and we need to grind up an old pair that we caught, mm -hmm. I'm not going to sit here off stream for four hours grinding the Pokemon. I'm giving them rare fucking candy so, put them at least while you, to the level we need. You can do that. But because I'm playing by myself, I just turbo mode it in a really weak area and I zoom, 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 zoom. It still takes forever. Yeah, it was enough. Oh, what did I get out of the egg? The egg I got a not to. And then the fossil in this game, which is going to be randomized, I got a Ponyta, my favorite fossil. <gasps> I yeah. love Ponyta. I love Eevee. I got Eevee. That's my little cuddle butt. Or cuddle. Did it die? No, it's a Jolteon now. I was going to get a Vaporeon because I don't know if you heard, but in terms of human compatibility, if you're going to. Please stop. Please stop. <laughs> and literally every I hate time. humans so much. Every time somebody brought up the EV, Clef would just be like, you know, in terms of human compatibility, every humans, fucking. Humans are a mistake. Yeah. It kind of is. But Vel doesn't feel like a parent showing their family vacation <laughs> to a coworker. Listen, Aaron doesn't watch my streams. He hates me. So that's what I've been doing. No, it's just, I barely, uh, well, one, I wasn't home this weekend. Two, I Aaron hates my computer right now. Three, Roku doesn't use, like, you can't play, watch Twitch on Roku because Roku's fucking stupid. I don't believe you. Hold on. I'm going to look up Roku Twitch app. You used to be able to. There's no Twitch app on Roku. At least as of, like, two... How to watch ago. Twitch on Roku. August 2nd, 2023. Uh, method means screen mirror. It's screen mirror, which means I, it's, I basically can't do it because that involves me getting up and doing a bunch of million things. No, it doesn't. You just go on the Roku thing. And if you hit screen mirror, does it just go to Roku? My dad has a Roku TV, and that's what he does with his iPhone. Yeah, but I, I'm not going to use it on my phone because then I can't use my phone. If I'm going to be sitting watching uh, like your shit, I still want to be able to play on my phone. Uh, I'd have to do it from my computer, which involves me getting up and going to my computer anyways. All right. So you, again, so it. you hate me? Yes. Okay. Cool. Uh, so anyway, Aaron's a dick. Uh, that is. So I might do some nuzlocking today. Like I said, I gotta Nuzlocke clean. Nuzlocke me, daddy. I gotta clean some shit, and then uh, we'll see how much time I have before I Imagine being an adult, bro. I am being very good domesticated boy for Tina lately, so trying my best. If I'm gonna be here, I'm, it might as well be useful, you know? You useful? Never. Well, we, we not to get too much into her life, but, like, I love Tina with all my, my little heart, but she is a perfectionist, and anytime I've tried to help clean, it does, true. 
But anytime I've tried to help clean or anything, she doesn't want me to do it because she wants it done her way. You know, kind of thing. So, like, so, but I'm like, listen, there's literally just no way if you ever want to have a kid that you're going to be able to do all the cleaning, all the cooking, and all the kid. I was like, like and take care of, like, like, it's just impossible. Like, you're going to have to accept that things may be subpar to your standard. As long as it's like, well, this is better than nothing. You know? So, I, uh, I figured while I'm home, I will do this part. So, you know, especially like with the whole kid thing and stuff, she's going to need time to herself where she's like, does something fun because while yes, most parents, you know, love their kids, it's not easy and you need, you need to have some of that enjoyment time. And if she's already struggling getting that time because yep. she's too busy doing everything, it's going to be real tough. I've literally had to force her on Monday <laughs> and Wednesdays to be like, you're doing nothing adulting. You are going yep. to have fun. Like, no, it's a whole thing. Uh, what about Ken saying about uh, the Elden Ring? It's a good game. Would recommend it, even though you don't love Dark Souls. But the problem is that I'm a Dark Souls fanboy. I don't care. I'm not playing Dark Souls 4. Elden Ring is Dark Souls 4. You can't convince me otherwise. I was like, Elden Ring is better than Dark Souls, but it's still basically Dark Souls. I, uh, I, I had a little bit of fun with it, but at the same time, it was still just Dark Souls. And the way my life was before I hurt myself, like, pr- right now, I probably have the time to, you know, get good. But... Up until I hurt my knee, we're gonna play um, an experiment now. I was like, up until I hurt my knee, I basically like I just I I didn't have the time to get good at Elden Ring. All right, I'm gonna play a game right now of all you Souls fans. Okay, uh, I'm going to get a screenshot from either Dark Souls, Elden Ring, Dark Souls Two, Three, whatever you want to call it. Right? We're gonna uh, get disc a butt. Yeah, don't disc a butt on me, dude. I'm going to just get a random screenshot on the screen. That's when you just tie them to a chair. Okay. You tell me what, if it's Dark Souls, if it's Elden Ring. Top left right now. Fuck, I'm trying to get rid of that. Hold on. Nobody can, <laughs> nobody can see it yet. Don't, don't say anything. We're going to do it this way. Let's play a fun game. What game is this from? And I'm just going to pop it on the old screen real quick. Because I bet you all won't get it. And maybe you will because I'm an asshole. Who knows? Window capture. There we go. Go ahead. Good job, Kev. Window capture two. And oh, what? It's not even doing it. You know what? Fuck it. I don't care. I disagree. There. <laughs> that was that was quick. That was great. It's not working, so I'm just not gonna fuck with it. Elden Ring has a difficulty slider. Cool. It doesn't make the game design better. I'm standing by this. I'll run this meme into the ground. Uh, it was Dark Souls three. That's the joke. Um, it's fun to see when you explain jokes. They're funnier because that way everyone knows. Like what the what to laugh at? Uh, let's see. Super- <laughs> You're so funny, Kev. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Super Mario World is a good game. I just I don't like that graphical style and fight me. Uh, actually, Can you add Elden a difficulty slider to Elden Ring because I'm pretty sure when I first played Elden Ring, there was no difficulty slider for me to to change. There's just other but, things I don't like about those games. That's well, I'm just, I'm just I'm just asking because I I don't remember there being a difficulty slider when I played, but I played it like. Within the first month it came out. I don't know. Um, so, yeah. I was about to say. I was, I was about oh. to say, like, what? No, I, well, I'm just bad at the game. Well, speaking of games that Aaron's bad at, because he forgot I got it for him. Uh, I did forget you got it for piece him. piece of shit. Uh, there is a new game out there, uh, the roguelike the, things that Kevin before loves. Before you continue, oh. I'm just saying, the problem about to make it so easy is you still have to go grind and you still have to go do stuff. And... You have to have the time to do that. And for me personally, I know me and Kev are on a different wavelength of why we're not a fan of it. We have some similar things. But for me, I just don't have the time. Um, right now I do because my knees hurt, but I'm starting to be able to drive and walk around again. So I'm going to start going to wrestling shows again. But before I hurt my knee, I was traveling six days a week minimum for wrestling. Um, between workouts, training, shows, I just don't have time to put into a video game. It's why I like strategy games, because most of them, the levels are short enough that I can play a level in, like, 15, 20 minutes and then just be done. Yeah, I just don't like the design. <laughs> it's why I've been playing Marvel Snaps. It's why I usually play Marvel Snaps so much, because I a game takes three minutes, five minutes if you play Conquest. That's why I like banging my wife. I last about a minute and a half, and then I'm done. That's it? Yeah, dude. I thought it lasted two and a half. Nah, four play included, dude. You're getting old. I just start thinking about you in tight pants, and then I'm just like, boom, oh, done. Yeah. Out of here. It. See, normalized kiss and the homies good night. You know, everybody. But, but that's my that's my issue. Like, I had a little bit of fun when I did play it. I just don't have the time to do the grinding and do so. I can't yeah. play. 
Like, there's games I love. Like, there's a reason I haven't played Persona 5 for the fourth time. Because I don't have the time I have <laughs> Sorry, from COVID. There's a reason I haven't played it for the fourth time. Okay. Well, I don't... So, like, over COVID and stuff, before, you know, I started getting back into wrestling, yeah. I had so much free time. It wasn't hard for me to play through games. Like, if Elden Ring came out, like, when I, before I started getting back into wrestling, yeah, maybe I would have got good. Yeah, right. I just, I just don't have time now. Right. Um... Yeah, I don't maybe know. Maybe I would have gotten mediocre enough to play it. <laughs> the problem is, like, I know I know the joke is Kev has no patience, and you're right for the most part. <laughs> but the problem is, I don't want to have patience for something I'm not enjoying either. No, it's... Like, that, that's the thing. Everyone's like, you just don't have patience to, like, do this puzzle or, like, learn this game. I don't fucking want to. Like, I'm not liking it, so why am I going to have the patience to do it? Like uh, to me, I think you're just a hater, Kev. Honestly, I mean, I am because the people that <laughs> fucking like talk about it all day are like, just gotta get good, dude. Just gotta get good. Then they would redesign the game if you got good. They'd fix the menus. They'd fix the gameplay if you just got good. Like or like even like some puzzles and games where I'm like, dude, I just want to get through this. Because honestly, I had my hot take yesterday. I think puzzles and games are fucking stupid unless it's a puzzle game. I don't know. I just, I, it, it, again, it depends on the game. Like, yeah, some games... It's yeah, if it's part of the game. Like, Zelda, I get it. That's the whole point of the game. But, like, middle Uncharted, after I've just gone through some cool jumping and action sequences, it'd be like, okay, time to play Match the Shapes. Here we go. Like, I don't want to do that. Like, I don't got time for that. It depends on the game. Like I said, like, some yeah. some games, they're, it also depends on the puzzle itself. Because some puzzles are just well-designed and fun to do. Yeah, cool. Some puzzles are just garbage. You want to know what's a dumb puzzle? I know this is, like, going way back. Playing Pokemon, a turn-based RPG about collecting monsters. Oh, gotta get the fucking Lieutenant Search's gym. Good luck. Pick the trash okay, I can. I love that. No, because you want to know what the answer is in... It's so random, and I love it. Yeah, you want to know what the answer is in Gen 1? Top left trash can for the second one, 75% of the time, because there's a glitch. Do you know what my favorite puzzle is? The ice cave in Pokemon. Also hate those. <laughs> but they're annoying as fuck. I hate those. I so. I just hate them. And then the one in Blue Dragon where it was like, I don't know, here's three rooms where platforms slide across. This switch does the one way in the other room. Good luck. How am I supposed to fucking know that? Get good? Right. <laughs> so anyway, speaking of games of puzzles. me from voice chat. Yes, I can. I can mute you literally right now. It's so easy. You have no idea. I will hang up. Okay. So anyway, games that, that don't have puzzles, speaking of that, uh, there's a new roguelike out there called Myth Force, uh, which... Uh, it's it's a it's not fuck you <laughs> first person melee roguelike uh but you know what it gives me gunfire reborn vibes but obviously melee combat uh all looks like a saturday morning 80s cartoon which i don't really care about personally because i i was born after that but the art style looks so cool man i always say you put cell shading in anything i'll try it uh i will say the reviews on this not great uh it's it's getting like 60s because the switch version runs like shit but uh, if you are yeah, shocked, like the other reviews. There's, uh, I'll get there. But like, if you're shocked that the Switch version of the game runs like shit in 2023, you're you're stupid. Like, I don't have to tell you. If it comes out on anything else than Switch, probably not gonna run great on that. I love the Switch. The Switch is, was a. I great, love the Switch. Switch is a great system. Awesome system. It's it's past its time. It's old, so it's out on um, it's out on this on Switch and Steam. I'm playing the Steam Deck version, which is playable. It says. And the only real glitch I've had is that sometimes the intro movie in the game doesn't play, but you press B and it skips it anyway. That's funny. So I don't care. Um, but the graphic that says press B to skip pops up. So the MP4 is broken. I don't fucking know. Uh, but this game is really, really fun. Uh, me and Chase ran through a couple levels. I am playing as a knight. Here's a tip for you, Aaron. I'm going to be archer. You can be an archer, but stick with your character. Like in other like things like Gunfire Born, the stats kind of go all over the characters. Yeah. No, stick with the character, and then when you beat it, like, you know, try everybody first, and then see what you like, but, like, once I pick Knight, I'm sticking with Knight, because I've worked on her skills. So, okay. there's permanent upgrades per character, um, there is a, the Rogue is kind of cool, because he has a cool skill called Pocket Sand. Like, Pocket Sand. Yeah, exactly, it's literally called Pocket Sand, he goes, ah! So, ah. There's that. How did I like Tiny Tina's? Tiny Tina's was good, um, but like all the reviews will say, man, I wish this was Borderlands 2, which is the same issue I would have with Borderlands 3. It just, you let it go that it's not Borderlands 2 and you're going to have a good time. This is the best thing I can tell you about it. Uh, but this game's good. This is the closest I'll get to playing like Skyrim because uh, first, first person medieval combat, basically. So uh, Have you never played Skyrim? 
I have. I just I, it's a Bethesda RPG. I just don't like the floatiness and jankiness of them. So it's just, it's the same thing. All the background characters feel like a wallpaper that have a life bar, and when you break the life bar, they go, "Oh, stop my animation," and I'm dead. Like they don't react to anything. That's why I don't really like those games. And it's tell I mean, me I disagree, but fair enough. That's fine. Starfield is better. I'll give it that. But I, like, I've had a lot of fun with a little bit. I play Starfield. I need to play more though. It's yeah. just, it was just again timing with the surgery and everything, and then yeah. you know having heart issues after surgery definitely didn't help. Yeah, um, I will say, uh, Ken, by the time I was done with Tiny Tina's, I was ready for it to be done. Uh, but that's not a bad thing, really. Can you play four people with this? Or yes, up to four people uh, co-op for this game. So I'll uh, ask Chris and see if he's interested. Uh, tell him to ask me where we got the low price from. Shh. So, it's our secret website. You know? GG, man. GG, bro. Anyway, so that's, uh, <laughs> that's what we've been working on. Uh, yeah, there's that. So, if there's time today, I'll do some Pokemon, but I'm not promising. Will you poke my mon? Uh, that's how you pronounce butthole. Uh, we do have uh, some games to put on the old gauntlet, Aaron. Do we? I don't know. You owe me a pizza still, bitch. I do, but I also can't even afford to give myself a pizza right now. I don't care if you get me a little Caesar. Give me it. Dog, dog, I don't know if you know this. I have a secret for you. I haven't worked in three weeks. I don't work for a minimum of another three weeks, and that's even if I get cleared. Cool. And I don't have short-term disability. I don't get unemployment like you. Cool. Can you sell some of those games back there? I want my fucking pizza. <laughs> yeah, no, I won't. I do want that you. crazy bread. Back actually, I, I've actually legit been thinking about selling stuff because, like, I, I need money. I yeah, no, I've been doing that, too, because, like, I just... It's also stuff I haven't been using. So. Like, like, do I want to sell some of that shit? No, but am I possibly going to have to soon? Yeah, probably. Man, if only there was, like, some kind of Aaron fucking command, bro. Oh, yeah, that's true. There is. Yeah, there. there is. Buy Aaron's shirt, you piece Buy of shit. Buy my shirt or donate to my GoFundMe because I'm literally poor. If you yeah. don't know, I uh, tore my ACL, had ACL reconstruction surgery, and then, uh, Fuck, yeah. I got to so that bean I'm special for a of six weeks with no money, so... Sick, dude. Paying bills is fun. Well, actually, the one of the things I'm going to bring up in my union meeting tonight be like, hey, listen, I know we're on, like, the whole, like, no PTO thing. Like, it's an agreement. But, like, I didn't ask to get thyroid cancer, man, and I needed money. <laughs> like, yeah, wasn't exactly like, oh, I'm going to go take a vacation on my own fucking will. And that's, that's like, my big thing here is, like, oh, yeah, like, I wanted to tear my ACL. Um, right. Yeah. Very annoying. But, like, it's just, it's it sucks because I just, I, like, Oh, and my job, I, don't, I might have told you this. Um, mm. I found out I still have to pay my insurance. Like, you know how, like, they take it out of your check every week? Yeah. The six weeks I'm not working. Yeah. I still have to pay my insurance and all that. So I basically owe my job 50 bucks a week for what the are you, six a stripper? weeks I'm not working. Apparently. I, d I didn't know that. My buddy worked at a strip club. Apparently, strippers have to pay to work. Did you know that? It's no different than, like, a... Uh, hairstylists if they don't own this shop they have to yeah well they 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 own the shop yeah, yeah, yeah that makes sense yeah. but damn it's the same as it. that's dumb anyway uh we have games to look over the gauntlet simple let's let's look at baby shark sing and swim party for an example iron meat yeah we'll get there uh it's a you know aaron gets a 65 game gets a 70 he gets five points i guess 52 i don't know math 18 uh low score wins very simple i got some games you gotta look up aaron right. you want to start with iron meat because it's there. It's right there. Yeah, well, we're going to look up some Iron Meat gameplay. While I, I fix all these things you didn't fix. Yep, I did that on purpose to piss you off, actually, this time, yeah, consciously. You, you literally always do. Nope. Uh, horrible human being. Not Iron Heart. Don't, don't know what that is. Friends. I don't deserve friends. We played this at Retro World. That's a, that's that's a different game. Character. Different game. Uh, this is Iron Meat. It's basically Contra. It's pretty fucking cool. Uh, it's made, developed by RetroWare. And uh, me, John, Stevie, and Rick played it at RetroWorld. And the game looks fucking cool. I remember you talking about it, I think, and saying you were really Dude, I want to play it so bad. I need it. I need it. So, Why does he run like he's playing guitar? Because that's how you hold a gun, dude. Haven't you heard of gun safety? Yeah, I'm running with my gun. Yeah, I wrote that song. So thanks for <laughs> copywriting that. I'm going to copyright my stream you because you sing it. All right, well, you ever see that time Metallica was performing on Twitch and they got copyrighted? Uh, it happened to Dragon Force, too. Yeah, but they, but Dragon Force is like, yeah, we don't really care. Like, go ahead. Metallica is like the most litigious band in the world. Yeah. Because they're Fun. dicks. Yeah, so Iron Me, I'm going to put it 81, Aaron. I don't believe you will. Okay, can you, can you write, can you put it? I'll put 87. Cool, thanks. 
All right, the next thing on the gun list we got is Sonic Superstars. Sonic Superstars. Uh, it's like they're trying to be like, hey, remember when Sonic was good again, guys? They literally have had like two good games in a row now, though. Yeah, but they're... Which ones are good? Frontiers? Nobody gives a shit about Frontiers. They don't give a shit, but it still was good. People still liked it, the people who played it. Whatever. Sonic Frontiers, 2D... Oh, yeah, Sonic the Olympics was a banger. Uh, even oh, th- this is the one that also is kind of like... Uh... Generations. Wonder, like uh, one like Mario Wonder, Mario Wonder, because people were like, well, "How the hell did they completely come up with basically the same way style of game? How do they come up with the same concept of the two D platform that's been around since the fucking nineties? Well, like, I don't the know two D platform with like the three D model type thing where it changes. Like I, I just telling you what I saw people talking about on Twitter. Okay, fuck Twitter. I don't know why you're giving me shit. Fuck Twitter is my answer. To that. Uh, I, I, I'll be yeah, your turn first. Sorry. No, go ahead. No, no, you, you first. I already forgot what I was going to say. All right, cool. 84. I thought you were going to say something. Uh, 69, nice. 79. Ow. Big difference. Gargoyles. I'll do first for the next two. So Gargoyles Remastered coming out, which I can't wait for personally. Is, uh, it's, he believes in just killing everything that's dear to him because he's a horrible person. Oh, like Tina's still alive, right? Is she? I haven't seen her in a while. Yeah, well, I think it's based on the old TV. Yes, so there was a Sega Genesis game, Gargoyles, and that game was a fucking banger, and they decided to remaster it, baby. Uh, it which, uh, soon, actually. But the thing is, like, I looked at this remaster, and I think we're using the term remaster a little loosely. Um, what? It's supposed to be, like, remastered, but, I don't know, it kind of looks better, but not that much better. <laughs> I don't know. Looks pretty all right. I'm gonna give it a, a like a 75, which I am gonna play. Wow, great job letting me go first. Oh fuck you. <laughs> uh, I'm not 74. good. 74. Yeah, wow, doing the prices right. I'm gonna play it. I I, I, I was I'm, I was thinking mid 70s. Oh, so, and you said. Yeah, 75. I uh I don't know. I'm gonna play this, but I hope I will say because it is a Genesis game. Uh, that they kind of do some quality of life stuff because, you know, old 16-bit platformers can be cheap for the sake of being cheap. So uh, I'm hoping. But the Aladdin treatment, I think it's getting better than the Aladdin treatment. Yeah, it better have rewind. Because that's the thing. Uh, listen, everyone says Kevin just get good at old games or something along those lines. Yeah, get old games are fucking bullshit sometimes. And that's why when they get re-released, they always have save states and rewinds now. No, it's just because all kids nowadays are... They're soft and they can't play video games anymore like we did in the old days. Brother. Yeah, well, if I didn't have to fucking do adult things, so there, we literally aren't allowed to. You <laughs> fuck off. It's true. That is true. Fuck off. That's why I love the podcast. So I can just go get good. I'm bitch. gonna mute the fuck out of you. <laughs> uh, I do have a three second tension span, so I don't care. I'm ready to play that though. Uh, all right, Aaron, you can do this Robocop one. Robocop for- Rogue City. I have watched one RoboCop movie in my life, and I couldn't tell you a single thing about it. That is more than I've watched. I've watched about three RoboCop clips. Ooh, I played as him in Mortal Kombat. Does that count? Yeah. Cool, cool, You're cool, basically cool, cool. a RoboCop master at that point. Basically, uh, something, something Detroit, Ed 209. Nice uh, about, dude. Yeah, no, RoboCop's cool. So, uh, I don't know. This actually kind of looks like a sick FPS. Uh, I just want to get the actual gameplay. Like, I kind of want to play this. I'm going to lie. I, but you're playing as RoboCop, so. I mean, it looks tight. People have been saying good things about it. I haven't seen a single review yet. Uh, that guy was just asking to get shot. Uh, Rode against the wall? Yeah, and <laughs> murdered. This, <laughs> okay. It's perfect police simulator right here. This is on my oh. list. Sorry, the Discord's going to go down for a second because I got to look. Is this, uh, Bell, is this what uh, fucking Cyberpunk looks like gameplay-wise? Because I haven't played Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk's really to. fun. I've, I've heard great things. Like, now that it's fixed, I've heard great things. I do want to play it. I just don't want to spend more than 20 bucks on it now. Uh, on sale. It was fun. I did mainline it because you know me. Yeah, and, and I know, like, Cyberpunk has a lot of side shit you can do, doesn't you it? You can do. I, uh, the Idris Ilba stuff in the, the, what's it called, DLC is pretty cool because Idris Ilba is a handsome man. Um, yeah. Oh, you know what else I played? Speaking of Idris Ilba and handsome men, uh, I don't have it on this list, and I don't remember if we talked about that. Talk about Goldeneye when I played that. I feel like you ranted about it for like two seconds. Quick, well then I'm gonna rant about it again. Played the Xbox version with adult controls. I'm just saying, there's a reason why once it finally came out, nobody talks about Goldeneye anymore. 
and how we should get it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time. yeah. So, yeah. Idris Elba and Handsome Man. He made me think of Pierce Brosnan. He's also a handsome man. All right, what are you, uh, what are you reading this, Aaron? Um. So the way I'm thinking, it's either gonna get like probably either like mid 80s or high 60s. That that's what I'm yeah. feeling. Like depending on when it comes out, if it's actually good or not. So, but I'm gonna split the middle and I'm gonna go 76. Shit, I was gonna go. So that was the exact number I had in my main. Uh, the team will have the abysmal views of cult fandom. Yeah, as they do. This is not the that's, 80s movie, therefore I hate that's it. That's why, like, it, it really just depends on the critics. That's why, like, if the game is good, it'll probably get, like, mid-80s. Or, like you said, like, depend on the... Uh, Where's my the film green? Review, there might be someone being like, oh, this is this isn't my movie. This is a 43. This what? gets a zero. Can I tell you how much I fucking hate the phrase, my childhood? By the way, my childhood. Like, oh my god, they ruined. They they are rebooting the show from the eighties. They ruined my, my childhood. They ruined my I can't childhood. Go back and watch the original now. <laughs> I fucking they ruined it. I'm like, go one, go watch the original. Two, your childhood has no, no effect. Promise. Literally, yeah, your no. childhood is over. It's gone. It, yes. it, they can't ruin it now. My, my childhood. It earlier. <laughs> you know whose childhood sucks? I'm not gonna get into it. It's gonna get deep anyway. Uh, yeah. So what's your score? Seventy. What'd you say? Six. Uh, I'll do seventy-eight. You garbage man. You picked my number, and I I'll... skipped you going first 50 times. So there. There. <laughs> you usually do. You get all worked up. You're like, I'm going to give it this number. I'm just a, a crackhead, you're, dude. You're an excited young man. Yeah, whatever. That's old. Fuck off. Actually, I beat the shit out of somebody at Jiu-Jitsu Friday because he's, like, <laughs> fairly new, and he's, like, just graduated from, like, Trumbull Wrestling or whatever. And, he's like, and uh, old grandpa. Yeah, he really was like, oh, I got some grades coming in the beard. I was like, what the fuck did you say to me? <laughs> <laughs> and he just started. So the whole round, I just fucking toyed with him like a cat beating the shit out of a bird. <laughs> uh, All the cross faces. <laughs> and I was like, how's the gray hair feeling? He's like, you're more like a wizard now, sir. And I said, thank you. <laughs> you're more like a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> fucking deserved it. Anyway, we got Warrior Wear. Uh, move it, I guess. I don't know. I want this to work, but I just feel like. 73. I, I want to go 71, but I'll, I'll... 71. The problem is, like, I just... Listen, I think the time and place for Warrior Wear is just over. I love Warrior Wear... What was it? Smooth Moves on Wii. I played the That's GBA like, one. It's all just, it's I gone. ever hear from people who want, like, Wario stuff is they want... uh What's the other one? Is it World? Wario World? Yeah, yeah, Or Land. Whatever. Land. land. That's what I'm thinking of. Land. Land. Wario Land. Yeah. I just don't think they're meant for home consoles, really. Like, other than Smooth Moves, Yoshi? which is, like... Uh, sorry, it said Yoshi on the bottom. Oh, cool. I know Japanese word too. I don't know. It's like, I want these oh, to work. I hate it. And like, the thing is, I have to use real Joy-Cons and I don't want to do that, mostly. They can just play Pizza Tower. That game is sick. I love that Pizza game. Tower. Shut up, Aaron. I won't say um, bad because Kev likes it. Kev doesn't like stuff. It's an A-tier game, some would call it, so... There's that. Yeah, Pizza Tower is fun. I don't know. I, I don't really have high hopes for this, so. But I want to have high hopes. So, fact, Pizza Tower is basically war. It is. I will say I don't like in Wario World that you can't die. But it's not really the point of the game. So right, There's nothing really that came out, so we'll just wait till next week to look them up. That's where you're wrong, kiddo, I think. Uh, there might be one game, but I don't want to look up scores. Yeah, before. you're right. There's not, wait, game. Myth. Did we have a Myth Force in here? Fuck. I dude. think we did it last time. Uh, last week rough anyway uh okay so we, there we gonna do lists like we we do you want to do a list or yeah well, oh, we still have news i forgot there is news. there's some news but like none of it's even that important we can just look at the new playstation 5 slim design uh you're the playstation guy this gen how do you feel about it aaron that looks like a playstation 5 it sure does uh it's smaller <laughs> and uh you know how normally when you get a slim console like it's cheaper they somehow they somehow up the price, which is already kind of weird. And then the vertical stand does not come with it. So uh, weird. But the I don't know. PS Five, the one stand was used for vertical or horizontal. Yeah, this one get fucked. PS Five Slim. Like I don't know. It 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 doesn't really. I don't know. It just doesn't look good. I mean, I like that it's smaller because the other one's a a monster. Uh, I wish I could see pictures of the PS5 Slim. That'd be great. No. I'm going to turn off the TV because who knows what happens in Google Safe Search. Uh, let's 
let's see. Like, to compare it. Damn, nobody's got a real comparison yet. Oh, well. Rough. I'll find it eventually. No, mm. we can look later. You can show me. Oh, here's the actual trailer. There we go. That's a great, great idea for it. 20 second trailer. Like, I don't know. It just kind of looks... Like, the disc drive one looks uglier with that giant bump on it. Yeah, like, I don't know. It literally just looks like the PS5, but yeah. a little smaller. Normally, I want the Slims to, like, feel and look different, yeah. but... Yeah, I mean, like, the, almost every one recently has been completely different than the original design. Yeah. They quite literally said, make it smaller. And that's it. So, um... Yeah, I don't know. That's Whatever. pretty much it. Uh, I love my PS5. I know a lot of people like to talk crap about PS5, but I love my PS5. But it's again, it's nothing special, and I go through phases where I don't touch it. So, yeah. and no. now that like Sony's putting most of their exclusives on PC, also on uh, Steam Deck, maybe even better. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, you can literally play Spider-Man and Miles Morales on Steam Deck. Well, Ratchet and Clank was going to be my reason to get a Steam, uh, PS5, but they were like, "How about Steam Deck Verified, though?" So that's that's kind of where I'm at right now. Uh, Vel said Slim should be like the game of the year edition of consoles, cheaper and better. Yeah. Should be. Uh, I, I do agree. Sony, Sony be greedy. Yeah, well, Jim Ryan, we didn't get to talk about it, but he's retiring next year, so that's Thank good. Thank goodness. Yeah, I'm kind of very okay. I, I love that picture of him holding a PlayStation controller, acting like I play games too. Have you seen that? No. Like, he's going to be like, look at me. I I played the video games. Look at this man. This man is a man of the video uh, game. This man is a man of the people. Say, I play video games. Look at me. I hate it. Thanks. <laughs> Where do my hands go, Aaron? Uh, that's ex- that's how I play my video games. You don't play your video games holding your controller like that. Yeah, I don't touch any of the buttons. I just hold it by the handles. Yeah, dude. You, you yeah. Your, like you're not smart enough to use your mind. No. Uh, I don't really. I put this on here because there was nothing else. I look. Xbox has Activision now. We happy? It's over. There you go. There's... I can't wait for I can't wait for there to be more place like suits and others. No, I think it's I think it's done done. Like it, we are good. Um, you could wish. So we got two lists to go through. Uh, we'll see if we get through one. So just to kill some time, we got the best PS2 games of all time. Uh, yeah, baby. Let's see what we got. Twenty five. Guitar Hero two. I only slightly agree because this is before they got licenses for songs, so everything was like a cover. You remember that? Really? I, honestly, I don't. Yeah. Before I, I 100% believe you. I yeah. don't remember that. So I remember playing uh, Cowboys from Hell with my friends on this, like, on repeat, but I was like, this does not sound like Pantera at all. Um, My my only issue with this is I would, uh, I would put Guitar Hero 3 above Guitar Hero 2, so unless they have Guitar Hero 3 further down the list, if this is the highest Guitar Hero, I disagree. I think 3 is better. 3 also blew up because it had Through the Fire and Flames, the final... Absolutely. uh the, the devil, I think it was the devil went down to yep. Georgia. Was the like the, three was just so like overall better in my opinion. I'm surprised. I mean, this was before like really DLC was a big thing, but I'm surprised they weren't like buy a CD, put it in Guitar Hero, and play these songs on it. Uh, Rock Band basically did that. Rock Band had their own little store online that you could buy songs from. That's well, there you go. Rock Band 2 deserves to be on this list, but there's a second tower. Yeah, all right, Rock Band 2 was the other. It's like Cooper 2, Band of Thieves. I don't know. The only way I could try to play it was on PS Plus. And uh, that was garbage because you can only play the PS3 remastered edition, which uh, means streamed. I was told Sly Cooper was stealth, so I never played it. I it's a little stealth. It's a, it's a little stealthy. Just a, yeah. just a little I just stealth. don't. I just don't play stealth games. I suck at them. Splinter Cell made me realize I never want to play another stealth game again. Uh, well, Hitman, you can actually defend yourself for like five seconds. Uh, yes, it is like kid stealth. So. So, so, so here's the thing, Vel. I'm a huge Assassin's Creed fan. I have an Assassin's Creed tattoo. I love Assassin's Creed. But when there's a, a, a forced stealth mission, it takes me seven years to do because I am uh, very lazy with stealth and I hate it. Fair. I'm like, why do I have to sit here and wait for them to walk? I have knife in hand. Let me go slash. I like stealth games that I can defend myself. That's yeah. really what it comes down to. I do uh, want to start. I do want to try Hitman a little bit more now. Um, the new ones, I think you would like a lot better than the old ones. I I played so when the first of the new ones, I think it's 2016, was that mm-hmm. right? Came out. I did play a little bit of it. I was really bad at it, but it was. But it's because like I was used to like how the old Hitman was, so I felt like I was like even though it's not really, I felt like I was like timed, even yeah. though you could literally just sit there and they'll do the same loop for like ever. But it as real great, people was, do. 
Exactly. In my brain, I was like, I need to do this now so I would get myself in trouble by like mm-hmm. rushing to do it instead of waiting and learning the patterns. You know, there's like a, they've made like a roguelike mode to Hitman now where people just make missions and you could just kill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris was actually playing a couple yeah. of them recently. Uh, what else we got on this list? We got Ico. I haven't played it. I think I've ever played it. That's the like the the first team Ico game, and um, I never played it. Uh, right, NBA Street Volume Two. Oh, uh, this is pretty much hands down most people's favorite basketball game of all time. So fair enough. Yep, I I was more NFL Street, but yep. I was I was I liked I I mean I never really played the street games that much. I think I own this one, but like, it's fun. Uh, I like basketball games every so often. This one, this one was good. Can't argue. Sports ball. Uh, gross. Kingdom Hearts 2. Kingdom Hearts 2 is amazing. I know you don't like the nope. story, but because the story doesn't really... like. I, I don't play the games for the story. I play the games because Disney mixed with Final Fantasy with good gameplay. That's it. The music's sure. great, the mm-hmm. gameplay's great, and it made me fall in love with it. So I I think it does, like, it deserves top 25. Perfect. That's fair. I mean, I'm not... Listen, I, get, I can't deny its popularity. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, you're all fucking wrong. But you are. Anyway, uh, we got Tony Hawk's Underground. I never, I stopped playing Tony Hawk after two. Tony Hawk Underground and Underground Two, in my opinion, are better. Are the best. Uh, the, Tony Hawk Underground is the best Tony Hawk game. I'll stand by it. Sure um, because it still has the good gameplay from the older Tony Hawks, but they added a little story mode and stuff with like upgrading, like Tony Hawk Underground. High A, lo- like low S tier game. Yeah, I just I don't know. I never I was I played. I, uh, I never played Skate. I don't, I don't yeah. Know if was. Uh, Disgaea, Hour of Darkness. Never played Disgaea. Have you? That is shocking. So I like Disgaea, um, but I have a major issue with Disgaea, and it's but it's like the point of the game and why a lot of people love it. Um, Disgaea is basically a game about grinding. Uh, it is it's it's Fire Emblem slash Final Fantasy Tactics Grind Edition. Cool. Uh, you can literally like so like. I know I don't know about this one, but I know like this guy at five. Every one of your characters that you can get, you can grind up to like level nine hundred and ninety nine or nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine. But like, like it's just like there's so much you can do. But the actual gameplay is really good. Um, mm-hmm. I don't. I can't. I can't say the story's good because I don't even remember it. But I do know this guy has a very big fan base. Uh, the art's cool, and like I said, the gameplay it's it's good. It's like. It's like that really good in between of Final Fantasy Tactics and Fire Emblem, where it kind of has like similar stuff to both, but it's its own thing, mm-hmm. and that's what I like about it. Yeah, Fair. jobs class system, um, being able to like recruit people and stuff. It, it's 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 a good game. It's just it's so grindy, but that's the point and why a lot of people like it. But it's also what keeps a lot of newer pe- fans from getting into it. Fair. We got uh, 18, Ratchet & Clank up your arsenal. It's Ratchet & Clank. It's fucking good. Okay. You know, would you believe I've only played one Ratchet & Clank? Yes. I just, we, I never got them when I was younger. I played all the PS2 ones, and I'd love to play the PS3 ones, but, uh, you know, I have to poop. Yeah. We're, we're almost done. We can do this list. Try, all right, now. we'll do it. Beyond Good and Evil, never played it. I've heard good things, but it's just, it doesn't look appealing to me. Nope, I literally never played it. I don't know anyone that has played it, if I'm being honest. I own it because Anitra wanted to play it, but just hasn't played it. Fair. Uh, Burnout Revenge. I want to play these real bad. Uh, I played a... I don't know if it's this one, but I played a Burnout. It was fun. I, I think it's a, it's a fun game. I just... Mm. Eh. Psychonauts. I played Psychonauts, and I have to tell you, for everyone that says the game is underrated, it is the most rated game of all time. Yeah, it's like good... I don't know. I feel like 15 is a little high for it. Yeah, of, of I would too. Because PS2 is such a great console. I feel like I feel like it's it, the 15 is maybe yeah. top 25, but it would be like 25th. But I, I I would put it closer to like between 35 and 45 personally. Well, Devil May Cry, Cry blah, 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 blah. Devil May Cry 3 game's fucking awesome. I I might have had this top 10 for myself. Um, yeah. Just on the opening scene alone, the yep. like that is what hooked me for the game. The opening scene with the pizza and the little fight. Like, I suck at this game. I'm yeah. absolutely awful at this game. But I had so much fun with it, I didn't give a shit. I like 1 and 3 a lot. 2, everyone said his ass. And I will tell you, it's very different, but it's still good. Yeah. Because um, uh, the reason I got like I got into them is my uh, cousin, who was a couple years older than me, was obsessed with them. Yep. And he lived with us for about a year. And I watched him play all of them, thankfully, because I sucked at them. <laughs> yeah. And so I got to see the entire game of all three. And yeah, no, they're great. Yeah. 
Uh, Katamari Damacy, got to play him. Sure want to. I never got into it. I, I I get the. It's one of those games that I get the appeal. I understand it's why on, people like them. The remakes on Steam Deck verified. So yeah, it's just it just doesn't feel like a game I'd really super enjoy. You gotta be on drugs. Yeah, but yeah. I understand. I understand the appeal. I understand why people love them. It's so yeah. simple. Such a simple concept and stupid in like a good way. I'm all about that. Uh, Jack two. I have only played Jack and Daxter one. Same. Yeah. I I don't know anyone that's played Jack three. Do you? No. Uh, I only know what it is. I two. always forget it exists. Bully. <laughs> Fucking love Bully. Uh, I own Bully on Steam now. I've yet to play Bully. Um, you all missing out. I, 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 I hear it's great. I hear nothing but amazing things about it. Um, I hear don't, it even holds up pretty well now. Don't uh, play the Wii version, whatever you do. Hmm. Motion controlled punching. Gross. Yeah. Uh, it's awful. Um, yeah, I don't know. Got to work. Yes. I would have put two above it, but yes. I was gonna say I feel like I would put either two or three above it. Well, it's not a PS. Definitely two one, game. Like I feel like God of War one. Yeah, but three's God not a PS2 one game. Is probably what? Three's not a PS2 game. Oh, it's not, is it? No. Why did I think it was? I don't know. Okami. Right. Uh, oh yeah, I would put God of War two for sure above it. Like it, I don't know. God of War, you're going real fast. You got poop real. Bad. I got to poop real bad. That sucks. Yeah, Okami, way too long. Love this game, way too long. I, I, I don't think it deserves top ten, but people nope. love it. I am turtle in it. We're prairie dogging over here. Final Fantasy VIII at Wow Fed Eight. I'd, I'd put it top five. Yeah, of course you would. I do love it's Final Fantasy favorite. It's like it and Persona Five are tied for my favorite favorite game of all time. So it's it's top five for me. Yep. Seven Silent Hill Two. Didn't finish it. Pretty good though. Didn't finish it. Final Fantasy Ten Two is a great game. Shut up. You're old. Metal Gear Solid Two at six. I hope three is under there. It, it will be. They're gonna probably yeah. have. They're probably going to have it up there. Number five, Vice City. I put I'd San Andreas. San Andreas yeah, San Andreas <laughs> way higher. Uh, Resident Evil 4 should be number Lord. one. I would put... I, I'm actually shocked. I would play that one or two, personally. Yeah, well, let's see what's under here. Three, Shadow of the Class, and never played it. This game is so overrated. I'm sorry. It's a good game, but it's uh, overrated. Snake Eater is number two. So what's one? Shock. Take, a, take a guess right now. What's one? San Andreas. GTA 3. Dang. Let's go. Well, shit. San Andreas is the best PS2 game of all time. I did speed through that because I got a fucking poop. All right, I guess we're done. Kev doesn't like to have fun. Um, uh, Snake Eater is an unplayable menu game. I can see that. I played the HD version, to be fair. Uh, I haven't, I've never played Snake Eater, but I do own it. I want to. Yes. I actually, so as much as I talk shit about Kojima, I do want to go through and like play uh, play the Metal Gear games. Um, well, we can, we can argue about the top 10 if I stream later in the chat. I, was, I actually think the top 10 was decent with the games that were in it. Just the order was pretty messed up. Weird. Uh, yeah. So I may stream later uh, after I dust the house he before I go. Shut up. Um, I will I will just leave. Aaron can fucking sit here in silence. I don't give a I'll shit. Just, uh, I'll just hang up from the Discord call and we'll just leave your... <laughs> your One more. Phone. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitch. Uh, TikToks. That's it. Aaron, hurry up. I got to poop. Um, hey, uh, Clepissimo, like JD, thank you, you patrons. Uh, follow me at Aaron Norman, A-R-E-N-N-O-R man, on literally every social media. And, uh, you know, uh, check out my uh, GoFundMe or my merch shirt or any of that because your boy's struggling, man. Like, I'm, 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 I got to sell some shit. I got to I gotta make some monies, man. Um, so. I have at least three more weeks of not working. Try minimal, streaming. Maybe Try more. streaming. Uh, I, I I literally just started being able to sit at my desk Friday. Like, Good. Basically, so. So, we'll do that. Like, consistently. So. Yeah. So, well, uh, I can't wait to work, so I don't have to worry about this anymore. And then I can, you know, start giving back myself once I'm caught up on bills and everything. Because I definitely have a lot of people I need to help out now that people have helped me out. Which is very helpful. I just yeah more, sadly. Which cool. sucks, dude. All right. Uh, peace nerds. Peace I got, nerds, I, I guess. Get so bad. Bye now.